Welcome into the Toyota Bassmaster Studios, the Bassmaster Classic right around the corner at Lake Conroe in Houston, Texas. The top 52 anglers who qualify for the Classic will duke it out to try to garner the 47th running of this event. This year, fantasy fishing is a little bit different as this event counts for the overall points running for fantasy fishing. Let's take a look at the four fantasy pundit picks for the Bassmaster Classic. In bucket A, I'm going with Greg Hagney and so is Thomas Allen. It's really hard to pick against Greg Hackney at the moment as he's shooting darts at the wall that are bigger than any competitor in the field it seems. Hackney's had a shot to win a lot of events in the last two or three years, but hasn't won a Bassmaster Classic in his career. Will Conroe be where he breaks through? Pete Robbins is going with the hometown hammer, Keith Combs. We obviously know how good Keith Combs is across the country. He finished second in Angler of the Year in 2016. When you put him on his home lake, Lake Conroe, where he has so much experience and so many wins in the past, it's going to be hard to bet against Keith Combs. Mm -hmm. Coy Greathouse is picking Randall Tharp. He's top five this year in Angler of the Year. Started off fantastic at Cherokee and got another top 25 at Lake Okeechobee. Tharp's off to a great start, and Coy thinks he's going to be a great angler for the Bassmaster Classic. In bucket B, the pundits picked four different anglers, as I had to pick Aaron Martins. He's one of those guys who has never won the Bassmaster Classic either, but he has been so close so many times. Aaron Martins is bound to break through in his career. Pete Robbins is going with Jacob Poroznik. Jacob Poroznik has been one of the most consistent anglers since he's joined the Elite Series, and even dating back to the beginning of his professional career. Works, but uh, I ran into some kind of truck. And... Thomas Allen is going with Mike Iaconelli. He's already won a Bassmaster Classic in his career, and he's came close so many times. In the Bassmaster Classic, you want to pick the anglers that you think can win the event. It's not just about doing well. In the pressure situation of a three-day tournament with so much on the line of the Classic, you have to go with your heavy hitter. And that's why Thomas Allen's picking Mike Iaconelli. Coy Greathouse is going with a flipper, Matt Heron. He has won the TTBC before, even though it wasn't on Lake Conroe, so he has experience winning events in Texas. Conroe should play out many different ways. There's pre-spawn, spawn, and post-spawn fish this week. So a flipper like Matt Heron, be able to flip multiple types of cover, can target different kinds of fish and which stages they're in. Bucket C, Pete and Thomas both went Without Defoe, they doubled down on Defoe, who is leading the Angler of the Year standings so far after two Elite Series events in the 2017 season. He's obviously got great momentum, and there's a reason why Pete and Thomas <laughs> both went without Defoe. I never flipped a sixth place currently. I myself am going with Andy Montgomery, someone who's not going to get picked a lot. Lower ownership percentage is good for me. I enjoy picking guys who are under the radar, so to say, and I think Andy Montgomery will find his rhythm fishing a swim jig, flipping docks feeling comfortable like he fishes in the Carolinas. Coy is going with Bobby Lane. Bobby Lane's done great in these first two events, put himself in prime position in the Angler of the Year standings to do well. He's coming off a top 12 at Lake Okeechobee in the second Elite Series event of the year, taking that momentum into Lake Conroe, and we've seen how Bobby Lane does well in the Classic. He had a second place in 2015 at Lake Hartwell, and he's never finished outside the top 25 in the Classic. In Bucket E, I'm going with Hank Cherry. Hank Cherry is one of those guys who will use a jerk bait to the best of its ability. He can catch pre-spawners on it. He can catch the post-spawn fish coming off, uh, off the beds to the end of the docks, things like that. He also showed last year with a great event at Toledo Bend, fishing out of his comfort zone, flipping that heavier cover that he won't be afraid to do that at Conroe. Pete, Thomas, and Coy all have a mixture of two different anglers going into the Classic. Pete's going with Brent Ayler. Ayler's uncharacteristically struggled at Cherokee, but turned it around at Lake Okeechobee and had a solid event. Thomas is going with J.C. Williamson, second in the Angler of the Year standings right now, having a very consistent season to start 2017. And Coy was undetermined. It's odd to see an undetermined pick, but Coy was stuck between Jason Williamson and Brent Ayler. So he had both things going for him, momentum of Jason Williamson and Brent Ayler showing up big in these situations. In the final bucket, we have a lot of Opens pros, Elite Series rookies, and the nation and college guys. I'm going with Skylar Hamilton, one of the more under the radar rookies that we have on the Elite Series. He won an Open last year to make it to the Classic. He's doing very well this year, fishing very comfortable. Pete and Thomas have to go with Jesse Wiggins. Jesse Wiggins busted on the scene. He won an Open in 2016 to qualify for this Classic. Then he turned around and won the first Open of the 2017 season to make it to the 2018 Classic. Wiggins yeah! almost won the Cherokee Elite Series event as well. 
So he has some They're fantastic good, momentum and he's coming into his own at a high level. And the last pick of Fantasy Fishing in Bucket E is Toy Greyhouse picking Alton Jones Jr. Jones is one of the five Texans in the field. He won an open at the Red River last year to punch his ticket here. He'll be fishing with his father, the fifth father and son duo to fish the Classic. Well, there you have it, your fantasy fishing wrap-up for Lake Conroe. Make your picks at BassmasterFantasy.com. Get in on the action and see if you can take home the grand prize.